My name is Elise Campbell. My title is Permanency Specialist, and here I am a permanent managing conservatorship worker. Um, the mission of my role is permanency, um, specifically making connections and um, getting support for our kiddos. My name is Roy McKinney, and I am a permanency specialist with OCLK. Um, my mission is to make sure that um, we take our kids from hard places and that we help our families to reunite. And if that's not possible, then we do our best to find them the best um, home for them. How did I approach the challenge of the pandemic? Um, at first it was really hard um, because we have a job that involves a lot of face-to-face, -face, a lot of interaction, a lot of um, community planning, engagement. Um, and so what I try to do is try to make ways for me to still kind of have those connections, um, whether it be virtually or um, me sitting six feet apart from whoever I was working with and still trying to um, just establish a connection um, or relationship in some type of way. If we couldn't fulfill our objective um, because of COVID, then we would be, our children would be in much worse place than they are now. Um, our job is to make sure that they are in a safe environment and that their well-being is at the forefront of everything that we do. A recent challenge that we faced in our unit here at OCLK was getting a COVID positive teen back to her mom in Arizona. Um, that was something that uh, the team had been working on for quite some time. So that was a very challenging moment at that time. We had to go through the courts to be able to get approved to even travel to visit the home. We had to conduct a home study. Myself and a coworker, Jackie Wilson, traveled to Arizona immediately to just do a home study of the home, go through the home to make sure it was a safe environment. Okay, the, the work that, uh, that we did was so important because uh, we didn't know at the time, but, but shortly after we had done the house study, uh, the youth came down with COVID and we had no place to place her. Now we had been working diligently trying to get, get her moved and, and reunited with her parents, but this just made that challenge even more uh, significant. Uh, because the youth was positive for COVID, uh, it, it just created a lot of issues with logistics. And so we, on the back end, we were thinking now, who is going to agree to uh, take this positive kid on a long drive to this destination? And uh, two workers volunteered. Um, here at OCLK, we always say we start with the yes. And so I decided uh, that someone had to do it and why couldn't it be me? Um, we really wanted to take our, t uh, not have everyone in our team exposed to COVID. And so the two people that had already volunteered to work with the young girl um, went ahead and said, yes, we'll do it. The moment that stuck out um, was definitely the, the 14 hour drive to Arizona. Um, and this kid is very anxious to get home to her family, to her mom that she hadn't seen in years. Um, and just building the anticipation of how far we have, how long do we have left, how many miles, what time should we get there, um, and just the eagerness of her and the happiness that she felt. As soon as we got there, or we got close to her home, she was like, oh my gosh, we're almost here. And so when we got there, her mother came outside and her mother was like, she really wanted to give her mother a hug, but she couldn't because they still had the social distance because she was COVID positive. Um, but just to see the look in both of their eyes and they hadn't seen each other in years was amazing. Reuniting families is crucial and I'm a big baby. So, you know, the tears started crying. I started crying when they started crying. And it was just amazing to see that a family that has been through so many troubling and trying situations can have a positive outcome. And that's our major goal here is to have that positive outcome with family reunification. Working with Rory um, during this time was big support for me. Um, he has been the one for me that I just go to um, since he joined the unit. He's always ready to jump into action with me. He's already always ready for the next adventure. Um, always this, there to support um, me, especially during this drive. He kept me and the kid both attentive, uh, found ways for us um, to entertain ourselves. Um, and just like the spirit that he has um, for this job um, just kept me motivated along the way. Ha, 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 ha.
<laughs> it was great working with Elise. Elise is a firecracker in our unit. She is the most tenured um, permanency specialist that we have. And just her being always positive and always be willing to go on an adventure, because that's basically what it was, an adventure, uh, was really good. I've learned a lot from her these past three months, and I'll say that she is, um, she is definitely a pillar in our unit. You know, our staff did not have to do that. They could have passed. They could have said, not me, let's get a transporter. But they cared about our young lady. They made sure they made arrangements. They talked with the family and set up the time frames. They loaded her up in the car with safety protocols for COVID and spent the time taking her there so that they having a relationship with her could be the ones to help her make that transition. And I am so proud of them. It's really, it's really incredible that our staff are making those personal choices to support the kids and families in the way that they do. From this experience, um, specifically with COVID, I think I learned that Family is really important and to have support is really important um, and that is just as important for us to have that for our kids. Um, and so just again doing my job of trying to make those connections and establish that support for when times like this happen, when things are tough, um, was the most important thing that I've learned from this whole situation.